Welcome to this uh, Interact Software video demonstration. What we're going to be looking at in this video is the exchange of information between Interact and Microsoft Outlook. So this is the subject matter for a new software module that we've just released. What we're actually looking at at the moment is my own personal main menu into our live system, which is the Interact Software Proprietary Limited own system. What we're going to be looking at firstly is the exchange of information in relation to emails. So what we can now do is keep within inside Interact a log of all emails that have been sent or received for the, your whole organization or just emails in relation to one employee that have been sent or received within your business or you can go and look up, look up a business name, either a client or a prospect or a supplier or something like that and see all the history of emails being sent or received to that business or indeed even call up a business name and, and drill down to a contact name within that business and then of course see the emails sent and received to that contact name across your whole organization. At the moment it's very difficult with Microsoft Outlook to see a corporate view of what email is being sent or received to a client or a prospect or a supplier. And the same history of emails being sent and received can also be linked to uh, the jobs database so you can call up a job and see what emails have been sent and received in relation to that job. So I'm just going to firstly go into this email menu here. This is my own uh, system as I mentioned and you can see I've got my initials here as the operator and what I can do at this menu number one is go in and look at my emails. It allows me to search so I can search on emails received between a range of dates or it might be the searching on the subject matter of the email or indeed searching on such things as all the emails in relation to a job number or a sales invoice number or a purchase order, stock item if you like, any combination of these things. Look, I'm not going to bother searching just for this exercise. I'm just going to click on the Start Search button and it will give me a list of emails as you can see here. They're color coded, quite easy to identify which ones are being sent and received. And if I call up one of these emails as, as an example here, here is a particular email, here's the subject matter, here's the date that it was sent. Um, and the time and who that email was sent to and, the, and of course it could have numerous um, that same email might of course been copied into numerous email addresses and if I call up that particular one it just shows me the business name and contact name but from there I can actually go in and view the actual email only takes a, a few moments being sent by me to this particular party here's the actual email so we're still inside interact so what this is allowing me to do just going back a couple of sets, as you can see, all my emails that I've sent and received. But if I've got the security clearance, which of course I do, I can have a look at the, all the emails being sent and received across our whole business, whole in this case, Interact Software. And who sent those emails, or who, uh, whether an employee or a, a client be sending it. And again, once again, I can drill down, call up an email and drill down into actually what was actually sent. Okay, so. By calling up a company, I can see the same sort of information. Let's just go into the Clients and Prospects database, and I'll just search on our own company as an example, Interact Software, and here you can see uh, all the uh, contact names within this company, and so on, and uh, I can go into menu number five here, View Emails, and it just brings up a nice little tidy window here, and once again, they're sorted so that in date sequence, so the most recent one is always going to be appearing at the top, and again, they're color coded so we can see who's sending what. Or oh, indeed, I could call up a contact name. I talked about that a moment ago. Let's call up Brett. Brett was the principal programmer for this new software module. So here's a contact name within an organization. Menu number five again, view emails. And here's all the emails that Brett has sent or received in date sequence. All right, so it's a great way of seeing a corporate wide view of emails being sent and received by business. Now the other thing that we've done is we've been able to exchange information between Interact and Microsoft Outlook in terms of our diary. So here on in my system I've got my diary, so I can go into the diary. Now I can look at anyone's diary of course, but I'm just going to search on my entries. Just put in my uh, operator code again. And here is a, a, um, a listing of follow-ups. You can see some are color coded in terms of following up quotes or appointments. And what's now uh, we're able to do is to enter a message and appointment into the system. And if I just click on uh, Outlook here for a moment, go to the calendar. Here is my week's calendar now appearing in 
uh, Microsoft Outlook as a calendar. And these were actually entered uh, originally uh, in the Interact system and the peer now automatically, they synchronized to Outlook. And so from here, my not surprisingly, my smartphone, or indeed could it be an iPad or whatever, your mobile device, is also in the calendar receiving these entries that were originally entered uh, into Interact. And if you wish, if you wanted to put an entry in here, well, I've got, I've got to say it's easier to link it and in, uh, contact history or a, an event inside the Interact system first, but you could enter it here and it will go back the other way, the other direction, or that a calendar entry will appear inside Interact. So let me just pop back to the Interact system. So here is the typical spreadsheet, my messages and appointments diary in nice little neat columns, and it's a moment ago we saw it in Outlook. Now that particular diary uh, could be updated from all over the system. It could be in relation to contact history or follow-ups for clients or jobs or whatever. So I'm just going to switch now to a, uh, a Microsoft Word document, which is the actual software brochure, if you like. And here is a little diagram showing that, yes, the Interact system in terms of the diary uh, is exchanges information with your mail ser server. In our case, we're using Microsoft Small Business Server as our server that can exchanges the uh, controls the um, movement of emails inside and out out of our company and from there from Outlook we can of course go to the smartphone. We do have another software module which you may be familiar with which is called the Interact Visual Scheduler which is again relating to the Interact Diary to be able to show in a uh, vi visual calendar format, there's lots of different ways of doing it, uh, what worksheet, employee work schedules and follow-ups uh, in a calendar format. So what we're showing here, just another little example from the brochure, is that this file that we've been looking at, the diary alerts or messages and appointment system, which of course is listed by employee by date, is being fed uh, information from various files within the Interact system. This is just an example of some. I mentioned them a moment ago, the client prospect contact history log and follow-up system flows into there, of course. Uh, if a debtor gives you a commitment as when they're going to pay an invoice, that follow-up date appears in the diary as well. Under the job, lots of stuff happening there. You can have follow-ups and follow-up dates on jobs. Uh, you can have make appointments, or maybe to go do a site visit to do a check measure or something. That goes into the diary. Following up on quotations and the contact history in that regard will go into the diary. And of course, when you open the job, and if you wish, scheduling the project manager, what, what day is he going to start the work and the day and time, actually, and indeed other employees that are going to be working on that job. This is all if you've got the jobs module, of course. The, all those things in terms of a work, an employee's work schedule appear in the diary and, in the, and simultaneously will appear in that particular employee's uh, micro, Microsoft Outlook and indeed their calendar. And coming back the other way, we, we were just been showing you that uh, the emails being sent or received by Outlook are held now inside Interact as well. All right, so let's just go back to the Interact system. Here we are again. So what I've been showing you, firstly, is emails sent or received. We can analyze them for an employee within your staff member. We can analyze them for the whole company, for one particular business name, or a client, prospect, or supplier, and even for one contact name within a business. All that's now uh, available with this new software module. We've just talked about um, creating entries in the diary manually or having that diary being fed inf information from other files within your system and that automatically interfacing with Microsoft Outlook and going back the other way. Uh, one other thing that we uh, can do now, which is, is a great uh, idea, is that just going back to this emails menu, down through here you can select uh, contact names off your Interact uh, database, names database, and, and send them out to Microsoft Outlook as contacts. And of course from Outlook that would then go out to your mobile device such as your smartphone or your iPad or whatever. So you can have any, any number of selection bases. I've just got an example here. In our own system, we've got about, uh, I'll just move the screen down a bit so you can see it better. We've got about 30,000 contact names. So obviously I wouldn't want all of those being sent to my Outlook contacts or let alone to my phone. So I can make selections for me and each employee can do that within your organization. In this example, I call my selection goers. I'm looking at prospects uh, when of course you could have all sorts of different uh, status codes here, you could select, select to send just client contact names out or whatever it may be. And once you select on status, you can also have category of, in this case, category of prospect, 
and I could select the hot ones. And I've got a range here from to and also by salesman, again, my initials that you're seeing here. So you make the selection. It automatically creates this list of, uh, of contact names. You can view them. It's menu number two we're looking at here. And they will automatically synchronize with your Microsoft Outlook to send them out there as well. So a great little way of entering information in your central uh, integrated database being Interact and also sharing that information automatically in Outlook and out on your phone. So, so it's, it's an excellent idea to communicate between the two systems, Outlook and here. Okay, so that's basically an overview. I'll just call up a standard um, demonstration main menu. This is the standard Interact system or a version of it and uh, lots of different software modules being shown here as well, of course.